and shake that. Amen. Anybody else? Brag on the Lord. God's good, ain't he? What a Savior. Amen. His blood still amazes me. Yeah, man, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, bro. Yes, sir, Danny Ray. Appreciate that. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank God for his blood. Amen. <laughs> yeah, amen. Thank God he shed his blood. Amen. Amen. He didn't spill it. It was intentional. Yeah. Amen. Thank God. Anybody else? Tell us, girl. All right. Psalms 119 tonight. I won't be long. We got a lot of things we want to get accomplished tonight. Uh, if Hey, men, what do you want to do? We got birthday fellowship tonight. Uh, they got some ice cream, cake, something. Got cake, something out there. Always do. We'll have a good time of fellowship. I know there's plenty of salad stuff from the ladies' meeting. If you want a good salad, we need to eat it up too, amen. So uh, Miss Myra said we can come into her house tonight. So she just says make sure you wipe your feet off and clean up before you leave, amen. Don't dirty up her house like that, amen. She's a good house guest, and she keeps a clean house, and she don't mind you coming by. She's very hospitable, but she just don't want you to make a mess in her house, amen. So that'll be tonight. But before, uh, at, before or after, we need to load up. This stuff in my office in the church van, take out some seats and on that trailer in my truck. So y'all want to load it up after we eat or before? 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 All right, before it is, amen. Because the rest of y'all didn't say nothing. Two people said before and nobody else said nothing else. Before, everybody who else for, uh, before say amen. amen. Who's for afterwards say amen. No. All right, we'll do it before. Yes. Psalms 119, amen. Good to see you tonight, amen. Uh, what's wrong with him, uh, Tim Sellers? We're going to straighten him out, ain't we? Yeah. <laughs> if it ain't Danny Ray, it's her, ain't it? Going to them too all the time, ain't it? <laughs> I'm 119. Great psalm about the word of God. Hey, amen. I want to just draw out a little thought here. I jotted down a few thoughts about it and just share it with you. Kind of devotional type, and uh, we'll go take care of what we got to take care of. It's been a good day in the Lord. Been a good weekend. We appreciate the goodness of the Lord. Hey, do remember Miss Myron and Brother Tyler as they drive back home uh, tomorrow. God will be with them also. Amen. Uh, Psalms 119, verse number nine. Very little. Uh, probably one of the most. I don't know. I know you check. Psalms 119 so rich about the Word of God. I was going to say that second clause of that psalm. Might be one of the most popular parts of it, but I, I don't know. What do you think, amen? It's good, all of it, I know that. Amen. But if you hear something quoted other than Psalms 119, 105, you hear that quoted a lot about the word being a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. But as far as a, a group of scriptures, this is probably one of the may, maybe more familiar ones, amen? The Bible said, wherewithal, you see that, verse 9, shall a young man cleanse his way. And he said, a young man, I'm sure you could not do any damage to the scriptures there. And you could ask the same question, wherewithal should a young woman cleanse her way? Or maybe you could even say an old man or an old woman. Now, wherewithal shall we cleanse our ways? And I know the word of God is correct in the way it is worded. And there's a reason why it's worded that way. But I don't think you'd do any damage to the scripture asking that question in any form. Amen. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. And the psalmist asks the question and answers it in the, same, uh, in the same clause there. He said, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. The word of God to cleanse you. Uh, the Bible said in verse 10, With my whole heart have I sought thee. That's a good thing to do. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. It's never good to wander away from the Word of God. There's a lot of words that are used in this psalm that are associated with the Word of God. Statutes, commandments, judgments, the Word, 
You know, verse number 11, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Uh, the old timers say, The sin of keeping from the book, the book of keeping from the sin, right? And blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Let's ask the Lord to help us tonight as we look into the word of God just for a few moments tonight. Now, Brother B.F., would you pray for us tonight, Brother? Amen. All of God's people said? Amen. Verse number 9, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? How are you going to get clean? What's going to clean you up? He said, By taking heed thereto according to thy word. The word of God is a cleansing agent. It'll clean you, cleanse your mind. And to cleanse your thoughts and your doubts, and to just and to clean your life up, Amen. The Word of God is a cleansing agent; it's to cleanse us. Look in uh, John chapter number fifteen, John fifteen, Amen. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to Thy Word? The Word of God to clean clean you up, Amen. And what we need is a good, you know, people say, well, you've just been brainwashed. You hear people say that phrase a lot. You know what I would say? We need a good brainwashing. <laughs> Amen. Now, I'm not talking about in some type of brainwashing where we're deceived and carried away towards a bunch of garbage. I'm talking about the Word of God cleansing our mind, a brain, cleaning, cleaning it out. Amen. We need to put more of the Word of God in us that a Clean us up a little bit more, amen. John 15, verse number 3, Jesus Christ said this. He's dealing with this uh, thing about the husbandman and the vine and the branches. He said in verse number 3, Now are ye clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. You ever, you ever get in your life and you just feel spiritually filthy? You know, you just kind of like because of things that's gone on in your life, things you put before your eyes, things you said out of your mouth, things that you may be committed, and you just feel like you're just nasty all over. And Jesus said, you're clean through the word that I've spoken to you. The psalmist said, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to the word of God. The principle is in the word of God uh, that it is that the word of God will cleanse your life up. Look in uh, Ephesians chapter number 5. Ephesians chapter number 5. We'll read this verse of scripture, and I'll give you this little thought that I've uh, jotted down a while back and been thinking about, about being clean. Amen. Uh, Ephesians chapter number 5. Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, right in there. Ephesians chapter 5. He's talking about in the context about the husband and the wife, which using that as an example about Christ and the church. But he says in verse number 26, Amen. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. By the word. Cleansing. And that he might present it to himself, verse 27, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. I mean, that cleansing will uh, take care of the spots. And once it's clean... Then Miss Debbie can iron it and get the wrinkles out, amen. <laughs> and any other such thing, amen. And it clean, cleanse you, amen. And what I thought about with this thought about the Word of God being a cleansing agent and it cleansing our bodies up, I began to think about a bath. I mean, not many people take baths anymore. Everybody's in the shower generation, you know. But a good old bath will soak you down and cleanse you, amen. But a shower will clean you also, amen. Hey, what we need is, uh, maybe if it is a shower analogy, what we need is the Word of God just to run all over us. Just get under that hot water or maybe cold water, however you like it, and just uh, just take it in, amen, and let it run all over you and cleanse you. Or, or maybe you just need to get down in that tub every once in a while and just soak, 
Amen. And, let, uh, and I'm talking about in a bath as an analogy uh, uh, of the Word of God. Just let it run all over you. Sit down in it and saturate yourself in it and soak it up and let it cleanse you. Amen. I got to thinking about this thing about a bath and the Word of God being a cleansing agent or a shower that cleanses you. I thought about why, why do you, what do baths do? Amen. I'll give you, I think I got to wrote down five things. Amen. Number one, you know what a bath will do in an analogy as the Word of God being a cleansing agent? It'll refresh you. Amen. You know the word of God, it'll give you some refreshment, amen. It'll refresh your life. Hey, that refreshment will relieve you from the fatigue. You ever get tired? You ever get weary in this Christian life? Hey, what we need to do is allow the word of God to cleanse our way, hey, to soak in the word of God and relieve the fatigue in our lives, amen. Hey, athletes do it. They drop down in that old uh, 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 tub of ice and try to soak it in to help relieve the, uh, the pains or whatever they're trying to do to regenerate their bodies. Hey, hey, we need to soak down in the Word of God and refresh us that we can get up and go another mile. Amen. Hey, we all get weary sometimes. We all get tired sometimes. Hey, but the Word of God will cleanse you if you'll just soak in it and let it relieve the burdens and the fatigue of your life. Amen. It'll refresh you. Amen. That refreshing, you know what to do? It'll give you a new vigor of strength. You ever got in that bath and soak and you just wore out and fatigued and you get out and you're just refreshed. Amen. You're ready to go another mile. You're ready to face another trial. Amen. Hey, hey, get in that. When you get fatigued, dive into the Word of God. Hey, saturate that thing in you. Hey, meditate on it. Memorize it. Read it. Whatever you got to do. Or even have it read to you. Amen. Hey, just make sure it's pouring over you and refreshing you every day. Amen. So, hey, you ought to take a bath every day. Amen. amen. That's just good bath preaching, amen. Hey, you need the Word of God every day. Hey, you need that refreshing to relieve that fatigue to give you a new strength, amen. Hey, you know what a bath to do? It not only refresh you, number one. Hey, this is real simple. It'll clean you. A good old bath will clean you. Amen. Hey, and we're dirty. We're filthy, amen. We get dirty. Hey, we get dirty from work. Amen. You get dirty from being around the world, right? And that's why you need to soak in that bath or have that shower run over you. Hey, to cleanse the filth out of your life. That's what he said in the psalm. Hey, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Hey, the word of God will clean you up. It'll clean your dirty hands from the things that's been touching. And, hey, clean your filthy feet for walking places you got no business walking. Or clean your filthy mind that's uh, uh, filtrated with all the garbage that's gone in the ear gate and the eye gate. Hey, hey, it'll clean your mouth out, amen. Yeah, right. Old time, as you say, you keep talking like I'll wash your mouth out with soap. Y'all boys ever heard that? No, y'all mama don't say that, amen. Amen, they put you in time out in the corner, don't they? Mamas don't put them babies in time out. Wash their mouth out with soap, Amen. Y'all girls don't talk like that, do you? Sugar and spice and nothing but nice, amen. That's all it is. Hey, but you know what that do? Hey, that word of God will cleanse you. Hey, every once in a while we need our mouths washed. We need our eyes washed, amen. We need our uh, ears washed out, amen. Hey, take it in there and scrub it out real good, amen. Hey, hey, it'll cleanse you in your life. Hey, hey, the word of God is a cleansing agent. That bath will clean you. That bath will refresh, refresh you. Hey, you know what that bath will do? You know what a good bath will do? It'll wake you up. You ever got real sleepy and just jump in there? And then you can't go to sleep no more after you took your bath, a bath at night? You thinking, I wish I was tired as I was before I got in there? And now you lay there and toss and turn? Hey, hey, you know what we need? The Word of God to do to wake us up. Yeah, hey, the wake. Somebody turn to Romans chapter number 13 for me. Somebody turn to 1 Corinthians 15. And somebody come turn to Ephesians 5. And I'll let you read a little bit and preach tonight. Hey, hey it'll wake you up. Hey, we need a good waking in our lives, amen. Hey, we've gone to sleep on God, and we need the Word of God, hey, to wake our lives up. Yeah. Wake your dead conscience up, amen. Hey, wake you up spiritually so you can get up and work again for the Lord, amen. Who's got Romans 13? Nobody turned there. You got it? Stand up and read it, D. Verse 11, 12, and 14, 13 and 14. And uh, knowing the time that now, that now it is high time to wake up sleep. Right now it's time to wake up, right? How you going to wake up? Like getting in the Word of God and waking you up. Read it, brother. For now is our salvation here than when we believe. Death, but now the far spirit the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly Amen. as in the day, not in riding and drunkenness, not in shaming and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. 
Amen. Amen. You see what we're doing? We're asleep. And we're making provision for the flesh, but we need to be good and waking it, amen. And said, hey, you, you've been wasting your life. You've been spinning your wheels, amen. Hey, hey, the word of God will wake you up in a good bath, amen. Somebody read 1 Corinthians 15, 33 and 34, amen. Go ahead, Brother John. So we're to wake up to live the life that's holy, and we're to wake up because people don't know God. And he said, I speak it to your shame. We're over here sleeping, people dying and going to hell without God. You know what you do? Hey, you get to soak it in that word of God and remind you that, hey, hey, there is a hell, there is a heaven, Jesus is coming back, and the world needs God, amen. Hey, hey, just soak in the word of God. It'll wake you up spiritually, amen. Amen. Somebody read Ephesians 5, verse 14 through 16. Amen. I'm talking about waking up. Go ahead, Brother Jeff. Chapter 5. That's chapter 6, ain't it? Yeah, you're good. You're right there at it. Yeah, it's all good. But on the whole arm, after you take a bath, get on the clean clothes. Preach it, Brother Jeff. Amen. Amen. Wake up. Right? Wake up. Amen. And then go to chapter 6. That's good. That's good preaching right there. And then put the armor on. Amen. Now put clean clothes on a dirty body. Wash yourself up, amen. That wasn't even in the notes, but it's good preaching, amen. Hey, hey, I'm talking about bathing in the word of God. It'll refresh you, relieve the fatigue, and strengthen you. It'll cleanse you up, wake you up, and get you going for God again. Hey, we need a good bath from the word of God. A daily bath from the word of God. Amen. Not just once a week, amen. You need it every day. Amen. Hey, you know what it'll do? It'll wake you up. I like this. A good bath to relieve some pain. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you're just soaking. Hey, I get hurting real bad. I'm looking for Epsom salt. Y'all ever take Epsom salt baths? Y'all young, young generation don't know nothing about that, but I like not washing your mouth out with soap, do you? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And the older I get, I'm looking for some Epsom salt. Amen. I've been, every time we shake hands, I met John in the bathroom back there, and I said, man, we're well, old boys. We got to go to the bathroom every time we take a break, don't we? That's what happens, amen. I would say what Brother Charlie says, but some of y'all might not think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> amen. Hey, it'll relieve the pain, amen. You get to soaking in that word of God. How many of you get hurt? It's a hurting generation, man. People are hurt, and they're hurt because of the way others have done them. They're hurt from the mistakes they've made. A lot of hurt comes from a lot of reasons, but if you can soak down in the word of God and let it uh, uh, relieve the pains in your body, the pains in your mind, hey, the pains in your spirit, amen. Hey, take a good bath in the word of God. It'll refresh you. It'll cleanse you. It'll awaken you, but it'll relieve some hurt out of your body, amen. Hey, this world's hurting, and sometimes we hurt. Hey, soak in the word of God and let it relieve the pain in your life, amen. It's good age at amen, a good a spiritual bath to help you, amen. And number five, lastly but not least, you know what a good bath to do? It'll, it, it'll relieve, it'll refresh you, it does. It'll cleanse you, cleanse you. It'll awaken you, it'll relieve the pain. But hey, I'm, last but surely not least, it'll remove the stink. It's different than being clean and being clean from stink. Right. Amen. Hey, a good bath will take the stink off of you. Right. Right. Amen. You know what the truth is sometimes? <laughs> Spiritually, we stink. Right. We stink in the nostrils of the world, and more than importantly, or I don't know if that's a good way to put it, we stink in the nostrils of God. Right. Amen. You know what we need to do? Get in that word of God and take the stink out of our lives. He said, wherewithal shall the young man take he, uh, cleanse his way? By taking heed according to thy word. Jesus Christ said, hey, hey, you are clean by the words that I've spoken unto you. Do you know what we need as Christians? We need to saturate and soak ourselves in a good bath from the word of God. Amen. Daily in your Amen. life. Pick up that Bible daily. Meditate on it. Hey, Play Alexander Scorby on the radio or whoever you like to read if you like to and just sit there and lay there and go to sleep while it's showering you with the word of God. And let it feed your conscience, amen, when you're uh, out in the sleep realm somewhere, amen, or, or go driving down the highway and just let it just feed you and clean you, amen, and soak yourself in the word of God. Hey, you'll never go wrong getting a good bath as much as possible. 
truth be told, you know what? We need more than one a day bass. And some of you know, the more you get out there and work, physically and labor, the more you filthy you get, the more you stink. Sometimes you have to take more than one shower a day, right? More than one bath a day. Hey, and the more you get out there working for the Lord and get around this world and, and get, get, get around the things out there that's kind of uh, pulling against you, hey, you need more than the one night's bath. A little, a little you know, you know I'm, I ain't going to say what I'm about to say. Hey, but you, you, need, a, you need a good cleansing. Amen. I'm not talking about just getting a washcloth and washing off some dirt. I'm talking about getting in there and cleaning it all off. Amen. Hey, get in there as much as you can and let the Word of God clean your life. Amen. Amen. Everybody stand. Amen. Get you a good spiritual bath. Amen. Regularly get in your Bible. Let it cleanse you. Let it refresh you. Let it waken you. Uh, let it remove the stink out of your life. Amen. The Word of God will clean you up. Amen. Amen. All right, man. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to dismiss in prayer. Let the ladies get out to the fellowship hall and do what they need to do. Well, we're going to uh, take the seats out of that van and start.